Now, in order to upgrade this CCFL to uh, our UB7 series, first we had to remove the metal frame, and then basically we had to disassemble it down to a um, to the plugs, liquid glass. Okay, set that aside. Uh, you're gonna remove this tip. You can reuse it, save it, or you can just use a new one. Either way. Okay. So um, take out this clips here. Here we go. Two. All right. Next thing. Remove this covers. All right. Now make sure all the screws here. Same. Okay. Just one at a time. No, it's right there. Yeah. Cover it. All right. Set it aside. Get a uh, small flat head. Oh, I use this flat metal part. There's no screw holding the metal frame, so just go by here. Just one side at a time. One side at a time. Now, the metal is on. So this is the one. Okay. Uh, so this one you have to be careful. You can set it a cardboard on the bottom and move with the cardboard, which is much easier. That's what I usually do. So we just took out a uh, metal film. Um, I set a piece of, uh, I have a piece of uh, cardboard and that's helped me to transport uh, the liquid glass much easier. But anyway, the reason I want to show you this one is the tricky part, a little bit tricky for this face down, how to remove this liquid glass. Because in between the plastic film and liquid glass, there's a silicone, some of them have a silicone, uh, you know, uh, it stay there for a while, it's kind of sticky. So even though you set it face down, it's not that easy to take out the screen in some cases. So the, um, you know, never use the metal part because this is liquid glass. You're gonna crack the edge, you're gonna damage the screen. The only way to use it, use a thin plastic to remove it, the, some of the grooves or silicones. Uh, do not use credit card because credit card is much thicker. This is a thin. So the way to do it is like in, insert it one side at a time. Insert in between, you kind of size. throw this, loosen up, okay. Okay, see that all side, and then oh, this one has a little bit. So, especially there we go. Done. After done, you grab the glass like this, set it face down. Now you already loosen up, so flick over. Let's pull this thing. Okay, still a little bit. There we go. It's easy and safe. Now we set aside the glass, the glass. And here is a plastic. Make sure it's clean. Because it's not clean, that would be a problem. Okay. So we're gonna remove plastic one and one side at a time. Okay. Just like this. I'm sorry. Let me see. Now see better, right? Okay. Just one side time. Before we do that, I forgot to remove the two small screws that holding the plastic. Okay. Take it out first. Take it out. See, my hand was underneath. I don't want to touch. Try not to touch the. Uh, Deficient should not touch this mat. So okay, let's try this side again. We'll try the other side probably this you see better. So okay, okay, all right, all right. Now we can try to move it. Um, okay, loosen up this wires. CCA wires. And then when you loosen up, take it out. 
See, it's out. And then we're gonna have to. Next, we're gonna remove a um, the lamps, but I need to wear my glove. Now I have my glove on, so I could uh, grab on this diffusion sheet and lift without leaving my fingerprint on it. So we just get the whole stack of diffusion sheet out and set it on the top of a um, liquid glass. But don't worry about it, there's a marking so you can always mark it back. So then take it out this one, the whole thing. And then we're gonna remove this this assemblies. This thing's a little bit tight. Like this. But this one's a little bit tight to remove it. So we use a plastic thing to do the same same thing again. Okay. See what happened. Here we go. Oh this is it's oh I know why. Sit here for so long. It was so sticky to the ooh, boy, this is not good. This thing will sit here so long and stuck to see, stick to this reflectors. But uh, just be careful. There we go. Wow, it's not that easy. So I need to clean this too. Sweet. Ooh. Now it's out. All right, this one, this one. Let's take a look at our LED backlight first. Let me set aside this one. Okay. See, that's what happened. The screen has been, it's been using for a while. All these things sometimes stick to the to the bottom of the white sheets. Um, sometimes it does require a little bit of effort to move it out. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. Obviously, the 17 uh, UB70 is not gonna fit in the original refractor. That means we cannot use use it. Set it aside. So the way we mount, we mount like this. Okay. Next, we need to test it before we mount back.